after everything, did he have any regrets sa pagsali sa bahay ni Kuwait? Because akala ng lahat, madali lang. Akala ng lahat, it's all fun and games. Akala nga ng iba scripted nung uh, bumalik na kayo sa real world. May mga regrets ba kayo? People won't even look at you like the way you were looked at before. They don't care what comes out of your mouth. It's just, hey, can I have a picture? 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 So, at first, it was really stressful. For me, it was hard because nung time na yon, I didn't know I was getting bashed. Hi guys, welcome to Lucky TV. Welcome to Luis Listens. At bago ang lahat, ang ating mga bisita ngayon ay nagbubulungan. Pwede ka kwenta naman please ng bulungan nyo. Bago kayo pakilala, agad-agad yun ang pag-usapan. Kasi kanina, bago tayo magsimula, eh magkaganon si Heaven Jack, si Marco. Parang may orasyon kayong sinasabi. So, ano'y pinagbubulungan yung dalawa? We're just getting ready for the questions. Kulang na lang magdikit yung noon. And on the show, we have Heaven and Marco. Hi, guys! So, eto, una-una, nagkasama kayo sa PBB. This was 2016. Okay, so kamusta muna yung experience bilang mga housemates ni Kuya? Um, taught me a lot of things. Um, Doon ko nakita how I can do everything para kay Mama. Like, uh, I sacrifice. Uh, yes, Kasi ay yes. nag-voluntary exit po ako eh. Kasi nang nalaman ko na nasa hospital na si Mama, parang I gave up everything. I remember, I remember that. that yes, that and so parang nung time na yon, it was like, should I still continue and win this um, PBB? Or dun ako sa tabi ng ina ko na for operation na at the time. And so pinili ko na parang yung pera, darating at darating naman yan. Pero yung buhay ng mom ko at the time, hindi na may babalik ng kahit na sino. Pero siya rin ba yung motivation mo sa pagsali yes. ng PBB? Yes, motivation ko ah, okay. okay, exactly. rin ako. Ikaw naman, Marco, sa pagsali ng PBB. I mean, for me, it was just for fun. Trip-trip lang. So ginamit mo pa ang ABS-CBN sa pagtitrip mo? I actually just wanted to, the reason was I wanted to skip school. <laughs> Role model siya. <laughs> and then it just happened that they gave me a career out of it. And so I just kept going. You know. Gusto ko, sarap kasi pakinggan din. Diba si Heaven sabi niya, ah, gusto ko sumali for my mom, etc, etc. Ikaw, Mark, ba't ko sumali? Para mag-cutting class. Ay! <laughs> Ilan yung pinaka-trip niya. So ano yung impression niya muna sa isa't isa sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya? Seeing this person that out of all of the people there, I was, you know, I liked all, all, all of them at first. I like kagad. Nasa I like ka na kagad, ha? Pinag-uusapan pa lang natin yung unang pagpasok. Impression, sa... right? Okay, 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 okay. Magdahilan ka. Bahala ka dyan. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I just got to know her more. But then, you left agad. Pero tingin mo ba masungit siya? Yung parang uh, pagpasok pa lang. Yung first mm -hmm. na, sin ay, masungit tong si Heaven. I, or hindi kaya, no, parang, I think she was trying naman. She was trying to talk to everyone. It was just like, she was just really nice to everyone. And for me, that I came from another country, it was, you know, a little bit of getting used to, but I think that's why we became friends right away, because out of everyone, she was... Putting on the effort. Yeah. Ikaw naman, Heaven, first impression sa kanya. Makulit. Yung pagkakahinga mo, parang bad trip. <laughs> Makulat si Marco nun eh, kasi parang 15 years old pa lang ata siya, I was 16. And, guapo, guapo, bata pa lang guapo, no? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Yun okay. yung first impression ko. <laughs> okay, so, of course, syempre mga bagets kayo, nasa loob ng bahay ni Kuya. Di ba, were you guys really ever a thing? Kasi parang, parang naalala ko rin yun eh. Actually, naalala ko yung episode na you had to step out for a bit. I, yes. I, I remember that. So, sa bahay ni Kuya, was there something na talagang, you know, going on with you guys. What do you think? You didn't like me at that time, man. Aww. It, just to be sure, so you liked Heaven that time? I did. Okay. Yeah, I did. On a different level. Hindi lang bilang housemate. Yeah. Like there was attraction talaga. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there okay, was. Okay, so why did you say Heaven? 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 Why did you say
truth be told. Like, bata pa kasi talaga si Marco. Nung time na yun, I was parang yung maturity and everything like that. She basically wanted a 25-year-old. <laughs> no! <laughs> Out of a PC. Lisa. 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 Yes, of At course. At that age? He's 16. Okay. Yeah, mama raised me that well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, because so, I think yung culture ng Pinay, especially, parang kukunyari, darating ka sa isang relasyon, of course, parang, alam mo yun, like, serious na dapat. Ay, so, naghahanap ako ng mga time na yun, ng seryoso. Mas, parang nung time na yun, hindi ko pa nakikita si Marco na seryoso pa sa buhay. Mm. Gets mo? Yeah, I mean, I was 15. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nandito ako, may interview na nangyayari. Nandito ako, just to let you know. So, you know, after everything, did he have any regrets sa pagsari sa bahay ni Kuwe? Because akala ng lahat, madali lang. Akala ng lahat, it's all fun and games. Akala nga ng iba, scripted. Diba? So, after, nung bumalik na kayo sa real world, may mga regrets ba kayo? Personally, ako po, Like, looking back now, um, wala akong regret sa life. I think, parang ilalagay ka ng universe where you're supposed to be. And yung mga mistakes or mga, alam mo yun, nangyari noon, I think it's part of growing up. And if magkakaroon ako ng regrets, parang mahirap yung self-forgiveness also. Um, mahirap mabuhay with a regret. Ikaw, Marco, kung babalik ka sa PBB time, is there something na parang baka naiisip mo na, I could have done differently? Honestly, no. I think, like, she, what she said, it's like, literally every reason why you're here today, it's because of this, the stuff you decided in the past. You know, I don't, I don't think I would change anything. Kamo sa pala ang pakiramdam nyo, na kumbaga, yung first step nyo naman, di ba, sa pagtitrip-trip mo and achieving your dream, ay pumasok sa bahay ni Kuya. Pero ano yung collective thought nyo ng mga housemates nung kinailangan umalis si Heaven for her mom? I mean, of course, everyone was sad because it's like she was doing it for her mom. But then also for her mom, she had to leave her career path. So by career path, I mean uh, PBB. So it was sad because it's like we were all having fun inside. It was definitely one of a kind of experience. And the fact that you had to leave it was just, you know, too bad. What can we do? I don't miss Yeah. Let, me let me go ask my Bala kayo, Naruto. Bala kayo, bibis ako pag ganito, nakaka-injured kayo doon. Totoo ba yung ano? Kasi may, naisip ko lang. Totoo, kasi nung kakalabas lang ni John Kratz ng bahay ni Kuya, parang sabi niya, in fact, he was still waiting for the queue ni Kuya bago kumain. Oo. Uh -uh. Parang nung lumabas si Prati Boy, nung nag-asap siya, wala siyang kinakausap, nakaupo lang siya. Tapos niyaya namin siyang kumain, ay oo, oh, kain na. Kasi, Parang inaantay niya yung housemates. Uh, pwede na kayong kumain. Kayo ba ganun din for a while? Kamo yung sa transition niyo from being a housemate tapos yung mga small things paglabas niyo? For me, it was hard. Kasi nung time na yon I didn't know I was getting bashed. Parang sobrang nag-culture shock ako nung time na yun. Parang, what's happening? Parang ganun ba ako kasamang tao as they say? That's when I, I think I learned na If you know your truth and if you know that you were a good person at that time and kahit ano pang sabihin ng mga taong nasa labas, you have to listen to yourself. And you have to know, hindi nila alam lahat. And I also learned na nandiyan yung pamilya ko always, no matter what. And even my friends from, you know, from school, dun ko nakita yung real friends ko rin. Ang tama. Kung baga na, ang tawag dyan pwede nga nagkaroon ng mini The Purge sa buhay mo, di ba? Those unnecessary voices. Ikaw, Marco, paglabas mo, kamo sa mga friends mo? When I came out, there's like, I don't know if you know, but there's like this downtime of like two weeks where you have to follow certain rules, especially with the social media. And when I first got here in the Philippines before PBB, like four days before the entrance of PBB, well, I was just in the hotel. And then when I got out of PBB, it was, I think, a little bit shocking because seeing everyone recognizing you from a nobody it's like a little bit tiring and you know you get shocked at first you like it at yeah. first but then you get overwhelmed because people won't even look at you like the way you were looked at before like 
they don't care what comes out of your mouth. It's just, hey, can I have a picture? 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 So at first it was really stressful, but then I got used to it eventually. And then from PBB, I think I learned to just, more than anything, really be yourself. Because if, you know, if you're a good person, if you're in this industry, you might as well show who you are for your true colors rather than putting up an image that you can't keep up with. Because in moment of stress, then eventually you'll break and people are all going to be like shocked by this image that you didn't show. You know, you showed this perfect person and then suddenly you break and everyone is so shocked. Gulat na gulat na. Ay, ganito pala siya. Tapos paribagong cost na naman yun for bashing and everything. So pagkalabas ng bahay ni Kuya, you both had your own thing, lived your own lives. Tapos nagkasama ulit kayo sa The Rain in Spain at the Bass. Yes. Okay, so kamusta yung pagsasama ulit na yan? Knowing... Na sabi mo nga, before there was a, a bit of a, an attraction. Yeah. Kasi heaven mismo nagsabi na before, kumbaga siguro at that point, you weren't really her cup of tea. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, <laughs> kumusta yung pagsasama niyo ulit? Wait, Kuya Luis, uh, meron akong kwento. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite. Yeah, gusto ko! This okay. is my favorite kwento. Okay. So, the name is Lucky Season 7, diba? Yes. And then, hindi kami nag- nagkita for seven years. And then... Binilang mo! Binilang <laughs> Okay, so may numerical significance <laughs> sa inyong dalawa. No, it's just a beautiful story. Kaya yeah, nga, wala naman kayong ano dyan, wala naman kayong mga pasimpleng tattoo ng seven. Wala naman. Wala naman, ikaw, ikaw, wala naman ganyan. Wala okay. naman. Ganda ha, ganda na na. Okay, yeah. so yan, nagkasama kayo ulit. So how was that meeting? How was that encounter? Kaya ito sa awkward at first. Kasi hindi ko nalang, best friend ko siya sa loob. Yeah, well, Tapos, pagkabas nyo, not even, you, not even. you never maintained the friendship. No. <laughs> Kahit yung update na, oy, guess what? Ganyan, wala. Hindi, wala. Wow, as in total, <laughs> zero. No, there's a reason why, but it's, it's more Yeah, there's like, a reason why. I think kasi nagkaroon ng miscommunication, ang dami ng voices outside, and so, naapektuhan yung friendship okay, namin. Okay. And we were kids at that time, so yeah. hindi mo naman maiwasan na makinig sa iba. And hindi ka pa siguro sanay din how to take it, yes. diba? Like, what, like, what you said. And so, nung nag-meet kami, it was awkward. Hindi ko alam kung paano siya kausapin. Is he the same Marco na kilala ko noon sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya or iba na ba tong Marco na to? Okay. And then, go. The very first time we saw each other again was uh, on the... Yeah, on the workshop, yes, right? Yes, workshop. Mas nauna yun kesa Lucas. Yes, hindi niya ko pinapansin noon. Wow. Not even, a, not, not even a text from you. Thank you! Hi, mga batang ito. Hi, just ka pa nangyakausap. Oh, why wouldn't you? Hi, nice to everyone. <laughs> nice to everyone. Bahala kayo, bilangin ka nalang buko dito. One, two, three. Oh, what? So, not even a text na parang, Oy, I heard I'll be I working did, with you. I did text her. Okay. And I was like, hey, I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna be working together. She was like straight up cold. Oof. She was just like, Oof. okay, see you. Uy, ganun lang? Yeah. Ganun lang. So, ikaw nag-effort ka talaga. I know, hey, right? You know, I'll be working with you. Tas, yeah. Okay, see you. I didn't know how to respond. I don't know. Instead of being nice, you know. Oh, that's, just, that's me. That's me being nice. Ah, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> if she's not nice, she's not gonna respond. Okay, that was a good day. Yeah. Okay, so inya, you nag meeting kayo. Ikaw, how was it for you? Sabi mo, it was a bit awkward for her. Yeah. And I mean, workshop, kasi misan kilangan yeah. mo talaga. Yes. Walang proximity sa workshop. Yes. Kung ano man yung nakilang kinilangan yung gawin. Yeah, I mean, imagine like not talking for a person for like seven years, and then suddenly you you have to open up. Yeah. About diba? everything. Thing to them. So it was like definitely a, how do you say that, a kick for us to break the ice mm-hmm. and like make it throughout the first workshop. And then what did we do after the first workshop? We went to Oh yeah, we went. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> tell us, a workshop, ba, may mga lumabas about you know your issues sa isa't isa or wala pa naman? Kasi sabi niyo, yung pinanggalingan eh, yes. there was a reason why you guys stopped talking. So this a workshop, ba, may moment ba na, no, because this is what happened. You forgot whatever was, you know, yeah. hidden. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, definitely. Ano may time na pumunta kami ng nag meet up kami. Tapos it was after the workshop. It was after the workshop. Nag meet up kami. And then we were talking what happened. Bakit yung mga Magaganon. questions ko like bakit hindi na tayo nag usap noon? Ah, mga ganon. And so then it happens for the yes, story. It's a convenient okay, story. Okay. Tapos how convenient. <laughs> 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 Tapos, dun din namin napag-usapan na, alam mo, 
minsan lang tong project na to na ibinigay sa atin, yung trust na binigay sa atin. So might as well like galingan natin. So we had this parang agreement yeah. na ano mo yun, we're gonna be good to each other, we're gonna care for each other, and we're gonna um, care for this project also. So, binigay namin yung 100% mo namin dun sa work namin before, alam yun. So, while doing the project and everything, nanumbalik ba the, the closeness that you had sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya? I feel like it definitely even went deeper than that. Okay. Just because it's like, you know, I knew her when I was 15. I, we really didn't get the chance to like get to know each other a lot. And then, I mean, we had that time there. But then, so much has happened within these years for the both of us that when we saw each other again, it was like coming on set wasn't just going to work. It was like, you know, let's get to know this person. And then every day would be a different, oh, you know, a few years back I did this, you know, a few months ago I did this. So it was like, it wasn't even work during Espanol. You know? It was a nice uh, It was just like, a, yeah, the whole time. And then between the lines, we would have a resemblance with our own like private conversation. So it was, Definitely, like. So, ano pa ngayon? Na sinasabi niyo nga before you went through an awkward phase sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya. You went through an awkward phase sa workshop. Tapos ngayon, people appreciate the relationship or the chemistry that you have. Kasi sa TikTok palang nilalanggam na to mga to eh. Anything na pinopost ng dalawang to, eh, talagang nilalanggam. So, how does it feel na grabe na yung uh, supporters din niyo? Unexpected. Unexpected. Because when we entered the project, we never expected that it's going to go big. Yeah. And also, all the people who post namin on social media, it's more of free-flowing. That's really it. Yeah, what you see is what you get. You, know? you can't beat that, no? the natural chemistry ng isang, uh, ng love team, ng partnership, if you will. Parang kita ng kita din ng tao yun. Diba? Na natural talaga yung appreciation nyo sa isa't isa, how you get along, totoo yung tawa nyo at lahat-lahat. So para sa'yo, Marco, what makes heaven unique as a partner and as an individual? I think the chemistry that I have with her, I'm not gonna get that from anybody else. Like, I, I, I did work with other female co-stars, you know, but I didn't get the same chemistry that I did with her. Ramdam mo talaga. You, know, you feel like. Wow, okay. And of course, Freedom and Heaven, K. Marco naman. What makes him unique? Mm. Kuya Luis kasi may kwento dyan eh. Yeah. So... <laughs> Ab- <laughs> Anong sisig? Please, tapos siguro mag-aano uh, tayo. Konti Ay, yung beef steak nga po dyan. Okay, beef steak na pala dyan, tsaka yung laing. Okay. Kasi kami ni Marco, I was telling Marco about my Bali trip. And I was like, you know, gusto kong about my spiritual journey, about meditation, gusto kong magawa yun. And gusto... Say? Hindi ko nga alam eh. Kasi merong... Mm, may palm reading kasi. Okay. So I did palm reading. And isa doon, sabi, I can only be with a person if only same kami ng energy and kung press coming to the path of spiritual journey. Okay. okay. And so, all about self and everything like that, taking care of yourself. I was like talking about Marco, with Marco about it. And then sabi niya, oh, tara, meditate tayo. <laughs> so, that's what I like about Marco. Like, Alam mo yun, parang... Was it something that you regularly do or you you want to try it for I mean, the first time? Because yun yung path na... It's not the design. first time that I try it. Like, I definitely did before, but like, you know, whatever fits the card. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Bahala na! Nung ano trip ko, yun na rin trip ko. Pinadali mo lang yan, pinadali mo yan. Okay, okay. Nakakatuwa kasi gusto niyang maging better. Yeah. And if it's with me, and the better, mas better. So I like it. Parang he's growing, and I help him grow. He helps him. Grow. He helps me grow. So I thought yeah. you were gonna say the other stuff. What other stuff? Ano yun? Yeah. What, what is it? Mo, what is it? Mo, oras tayo. <laughs> okay, so one night she goes out by herself. You know, she calls me and she's like, "Sa sa sa Yeah. Okay. She calls me. And she's like, "Galo, I don't know if I want to go out by myself for the first time." You know? Okay. And I was like, "Yeah, it's definitely an experience to do. You know, you never went out. You might meet people, friends, whatever. Go for it." So she goes, she she drinks a couple of drinks, and then she comes back and she calls, she's like, Galo, there were so many guys that tried flirting with me, but no. And then what did you say? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That's it, that's it. That's it, that's it. No, like that. Don't make me beat it. Papi, don't make me beat it. I'm not going to. So many guys tried to flirt, but you're in my mind. Can you see it? 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 
Umaapoy ang isyu ngayon. Ay na mga bombero. Papunta. Tama si Sira ako pa. Papunta na sila. So yun si yun si Nabe. Wag ka makinig sa usapan natin. Balik ka na. Bisa may kotse niya. Ano na yun na sa sabiin niya? She was like basically saying that you know. There were so many ibang kulot don. Pili ako. Gusto ko yung kulot kasi. But you know, there was only one galo. Kaboom. Tapos ang usapan. Yun ni. Yun yun ni. Tapos ang. Ah, sige. Kau, diya mi retort ka ba sa sa kwento na yon? Ko kontra ka ba sa sang ayon? Do you deny? But face to face lang. No, I don't deny. I don't deny. I don't deny everything that you said. It's true. It's true. And up, I'm gonna win. 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 I'm What did you say? Hindi, ikaw lang, sapat na. No, I just said that I wasn't looking for anybody else. Like, why would I? Why would you? Why would you not? Isa ka pa, matindi ka lang. Bagus ka, matindihin mo. Why wouldn't I look? Yeah, why? Yeah, you know, you gotta be grateful for what you have. So, I'm fine. I'm fine with what I have. Matindi ka yung dalawa, ha? Bagus tong mga to. Anong pinaka, ano niyo? Yung uh, your love language for each other. So, sa kanya, yung love language niya to me, acts of service. So, siya means, siya usually, pag kasama ko siya sa taping, siya yung nagalagay ng shoes ko. Siya, okay. yung, nag, siya yung parang PA ko. Okay. Hindi ko na kailangan ng PA kasi siya na. Ba? Okay, um, okay. He cooks for me. That's his love language. He tries to be the best um, version of himself around me or with me. I think your love language is, um, I don't know if it makes sense, but she likes to put up this image of being a strong woman in front of everyone else, right? But then when it's just the two of us, she likes to like be baby. Oh. She's a baby girl. Yeah, basically. Yeah. She likes... no. <laughs> She's like <laughs> the most baby girl I've ever met. So, when she comes out, she's like, no, 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 Marco, uh, let's do this. And if I go away, a baby. Yeah, basically. I'm a baby girl. Okay, so you know, and daming natanong na lahat lahat. So, ano ba talaga kayo? Are you guys dating? Are you guys exclusive? Or kumbaga, is it you know down the road? Kung hindi pa naman, kumbaga nasan kayo ngayon at this point? Kasi syempre, it's not every day na may tumutulong sa sapatos mo. It's not every day na someone you know takes good care of you. At the same time, may mga ay ba 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 ba. Hindi naman ganon yan. So you know, at what's nasang stage kayo ngayon? What do you think, Galo? Sabiin ko. <laughs> ano yun? MU, like high school, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I mean, this is how I see it. I think this is how we see it. It's like I took her on a date okay. the other day at, from Bingo. Remember that night? Yeah. Yeah, so I took her out on the first date. I don't know how really well it works here in the Philippines, the word dating. Okay. But before you get together with somebody, uh, I believe you're supposed to take them on dates. Multiple, no, no matter, you know, there's not a number. It can be 5, 10, 20, 30, whatever it is. And I think we're in that part where we're going on, on dates. Before. Yeah, we're still getting to know each other. Yeah. And, yeah, and I like how, you know, parang naintindihan ni Marco of like not pressuring me to like be in a relationship. Nakuha niya yung respect ko. Kahit sinabi niya sa akin one time, like even though kunyari multiple dates and everything like that, if it works, you know, for us, it'd be perfect. If it doesn't, then at least, you know, like... We still fall back on the friendship. Yes, on their friendship. Kasi I think yun yung pinakamagandang foundation, yung friendship namin. Amen. So, Amen. Whatever Amen. happens to us, um, I think yung friendship namin mananatili. And you have ship show. Yes. Uh, so please invite everyone na manood. Yung tatlong viewer. <laughs> That's why there's a camera show. for each one. <laughs> yeah. To the three viewers that are watching right now, we appreciate it. Yeah, man. Sineryoso mo nga. Joke lang naman na. Sineryoso mo tatlo lang na nanonood. We have a new movie coming out this coming August 9 in all uh, cinemas nationwide. What is it called? It's called The Ship Show, directed by the one and only Jason Paul Laksamana. Yes, Sana sir. po mapanood po ninyo, napakagandang story. It's about reality shows, um, what happens inside and out. And also, yes, pinaghirapan po namin yun. So, sana po magustuhan po ninyo. 
and I think it's uh, worth to watch because it's the first of its kind. I don't think there there was ever a movie released like this in the Philippines before. So. Alam mo kuya Luis, may sabi na ako. Magpapa block screening ka sa movie na. Thank you. Gastos ako ng bigas. Heaven, may anak ako. May, may anak ako ang inaalaga. Thank you sa support, ah. Thank you so much. Binubuhay, yeah. I, I love the support. <laughs> I will definitely support that. Heaven, thank you very much. It was awesome having you here. Thank you. Thank you. Brother, maraming maraming salamat. Hope you guys enjoyed on Police Lessons on yes. Lucky TV. And in fact, I really enjoyed our conversation pa kanina. And I hope to have a nice sit down with you na, na, na walang camera. So thank you very much. At abangan nyo lahat na yan, guys. Thank you for watching Lucky TV. Like, subscribe, share. Kung ano mang gusto yung gawin sa channel, trip-trip na to. Bahala kayo, buhay niyan. Thank you for watching, guys.